Hello and good afternoon. Hey everybody, welcome back to the Clarion Podcast. How's everyone doing this mm-hmm. Thursday? It's, it's another Thursday here at the podcast room. Yes, and it is one seventeen. All right. We're like always like so specific with these kind of times. Yeah, I, I like being specific <laughs> like that. I I don't know why. It just gives like a sense of space and time. Yeah, it's it's weird. But it's, it's weird. good to be back with you. I, I want to oh, say yeah. first thing because... We I'm have back. been like <laughs> away from each other for yeah, a while, I know, right? I, know. I missed uh, you a lot. You've been <laughs> here with Jamie when I was over at, at Cleveland, and then we didn't have the podcast. And then when I came back, I was by myself. Yes. So we've been like a few weeks without recording the podcast with yeah, each other. I know. I know. And the, I, this is my first time here uh, recording the podcast with three people uh-huh. in the room. Yeah. So <laughs> we have a special guest here today. And when I say special, I mean very, very special. Yeah, we have a. Uh, we have a very uh, talented person. Mm-hmm. It's our executive <laughs> director, Riley. Yeah. Welcome, Riley. Thanks for having me. Yeah, of course. How you doing? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. Um, mm-hmm. Basically, me and Riley, let's say, let's start speaking now. Me and Riley work together all the time. Uh, oh, since I'm a website technician, so she always like manages the articles for me, for the editors after they write and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. So we always work together and we went mm-hmm. message every now and then. And, uh, you know, she checks that everything is fine and uh, she sends me the articles. I put them on the website and, uh, mm-hmm. yeah, it's, it's, she's great. Yeah, yeah. It's, a, it's a very important <laughs> job, but let's, let's talk about a thing that's even more important uh-huh. than work. Yes. And that is uh, Last Tuesday. Right? Oh. Because today is November 2nd, right? Yeah, today is November 2nd, uh, yes. Dia de los Muertos. But two mm-hmm. days ago was Halloween. Yeah. Right, so did uh-huh. anyone do anything for Halloween? I went to go see the new Five Nights at Freddy's movie. On Ooh. Halloween. That's yep. yep. On what do you Halloween? think? Um, I was a little nervous to go see it. I don't like scary movies. Mm-hmm. Oh, I all. see. I see. So okay. I was kind of I was dragged along and it was I don't want to spoil it, but <laughs> you were dragged was, along. <laughs> well, <laughs> it wasn't what I was expecting. I want to say same because I watched it the night it came wow, out. Wow, I'm the only one that's yeah. missing out. I watched it on the 27th. I didn't, I didn't I wait. Haven't watched Five Freddy's yet. Because I've been playing the games ever since they came out, right? Yeah. Like back yeah. 2013, 2014. Like I, I, I played all the games um, except the the newer ones. Um, but I play all the old ones, so I can. I, I, I like to say that I'm kind of an old fan of Five yeah, Nights at Freddy's, yeah, even though the me. game was came out like 10 years ago. Yeah. Yes, I'm a traditionalist, but um, <laughs> yeah, it was very different from the games. It was not what I was expecting to see. I liked it, but uh, do keep in mind people that had not watched and want to watch it. It might be something different than what you're expecting to see. It was it was different. Oh no! But um, I feel like we should dedicate an episode to talk about it. I would like to talk about it, but okay. but, but 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 this is not not the point for now. What I did on my Halloween was um, I actually I am usually busy on Tuesdays. Besides yeah. going to eat tacos with you every Tuesday, oh yeah, uh, I Ooh. also have my voice lessons on Tuesday, and I texted my dad saying, "Hey, do you need me to take my 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 younger brother out trick or treating today?" Yeah, and he said, "No, he has his friends," and I just felt so sad. I was like, "Yeah, because he's already twelve. You no, know, he's like on the on like the border of you're too old to trick or treat. Yeah, but you're also so you, he's old enough to go." with his friends he doesn't need me and mm-hmm. then that just made me feel so sad I'm like <laughs> wow he's gr- he's growing he's growing yeah, up, he's growing man. up man and now he doesn't need me anymore yeah, that's time, okay time doesn't stop did you do anything for halloween um okay so one thing i would like to mention before that is that before halloween mm-hmm. we went to king's island yes yes finally we did, we did, jojo yeah. has yes. went to king's island as you guys yeah. know in episode five yeah uh-huh. uh, and while you're we talking about the summer holiday that was when i went back home mm-hmm. we mentioned king's island and yes. i said like oh i want to go there so bad like i feel like it's amazing uh-huh. and we're gonna have so much fun and stuff like that so we went last saturday right yes yeah, last we, saturday we went last saturday it was it was amazing mm-hmm. i was just like i went with jake keon morgan uh, Tomoya and Isab- uh, Isabel, right? Yeah, One yeah. of uh, Jay's friends, Brazilian mm-hmm. friend. And uh, I was like a little happy kid, like yeah, running around yeah. like, oh, bro, look at this and look at that. And yes, he was yeah. he was amazed. And, yeah. and I mean, it's it's a great place to be. Yeah, I, I know. It was the last like day of Haunt. Uh-huh. It was the last day of Haunt. Yeah. So we there was a lot of uh, haunted like places to go mm-hmm. to. So we went to multiple places. Let, uh, I want to talk about the roller coasters. Yeah, yeah. They are crazy. Do you so, remember like which one you like the best? My my best one is the Beast. Yes. It's 
it's the best. The like, beast at night. By at the way. night, yes, at so night. Please go at night. That is the that is the best roller coaster that you experience that you can ever have. The thing that I went crazy is that like okay, first of all, not just because it's very fast, because when mm -hmm. we went through that tunnel. Mm -hmm. It was pitch black. Mm -hmm. Nothing, nothing. You can literally see nothing. Like mm -hmm. I've oh, yeah. like it's like you close it's like your eyes are fully closed. Yeah. You can't see anything. It's like I was I was trying to scream and I lost yeah. my voice and I had no voice. They they have <laughs> roller coasters that are inside roller coasters, right? That they they that's, like that's crazy. even in Kings Island they have Flight of Fear and there's Space Mountain and Disney as well. Yeah. But for some reason going to one that's outside and it's pitch black, it's yeah. a, it's just a different feeling. Exactly. Um but it also rained. Yeah, in true it rained and King we, we got Kings win. Island haunt fashion. It rained. Yeah. Uh, last time I went to a haunt there, it also rained. Wow, it's so, meant to be. Yeah, I'm two for two. Yeah. And every time I go into that, that park uh, on Halloween, I leave soaking wet. Yeah, yeah, we did. We did actually leave soaking wet. But uh, I, I, I wanted to say that, like, don't miss your chance if you wanna if you ever wanna go to Kings Island. Yeah. It's actually it's actually pretty fun. And coming from a place that we don't celebrate Halloween. Mm -hmm. I, it was a first time experience for me to see how it is and you know there was a lot of actors walking around with a lot of fog mm -hmm. and like we like i recorded as much as i can yeah and it was like i would be walking around and a guy with a chainsaw comes in like ah, you know trying to scare you so but the fog was, was a fun. lot last year uh, this year as well because there was, was a, a lot point less that, oh my god uh, no it was a lot more oh a lot more yeah, okay a lot more this year because there was a point that we could not even see where we yeah, were walking. Yeah, we were yeah. walking in the fog, but we were lost. We yeah, had no sense anything. of direction. Yeah. And I'm pretty sure you've been to Kings Island before, right? Of Many course. Times, yeah. 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 So have you been to the haunts? As oh well? no, I don't I don't do scary stuff. Oh, okay. Oh yeah. come because, on. Because you were talking about how you didn't want to go watch the Five Nights at Freddy's movie, so I figured do you, what about no. Haunt? So you don't like horror at all? No. No what? <laughs> that's valid. That's valid. That's valid. I know people that don't like horror. Damn. But speaking I of I thought horror, we had great chemistry. <laughs> I, I, I watched I watched The Nun 2 yesterday. Uh, oh. And I <laughs> Okay, it's going to go Is on it a funny page. or scary? It's good. It's it's a very good movie. Okay, then yeah, I have to watch like, it. Like it's it's a horror movie that you can watch and say it was a good one. And that's not a lot of horror movies that you can say that. About, oh right okay um but there was just this one scene and it's not gonna be a spoiler don't worry it's just something that really really um, <laughs> okay no spoilers uh it, st it struck me as like interesting this yeah. guy was making a brazilian dish what yeah but he calls it he says that it's a portuguese dish so i had stopped the movie i had to get up on my couch to go around like what what is this <laughs> what is this erasure that i'm experiencing portuguese. right now and yeah, <laughs> anyways, but yeah, the Nun Two is also a pretty good movie. Since we're still on the topic of of scary stuff, and, yeah, check it out, check yeah. it out. I but, want to watch it myself. But do remember, do remember, it. it's a Brazilian dish. Okay, it's a Brazilian dish. <laughs> it's please, not Portuguese. Please keep that in mind. <laughs> and yeah. speaking of Halloween, have you picked up your copy of our edition yet? Of oh, yeah. our October edition? Yeah. If not, go for it. It's been out for two weeks. Come on. Yeah. And I'm gonna be doing a restock this Friday as well. So if you another if, distribution yeah. day. If your stand that you, if the stand that's near you is empty, don't worry. After Friday, it's gonna be full again. Yeah, yeah. Don't forget to grab yourself like a free October mm -hmm. magazine because uh, I would say for myself, this is my favorite one. It was pretty good. It was very good. Mm -hmm. uh, very nice. Everyone worked. Yeah, everyone worked on it really good. Uh, I remember when I like when we were going through it, I looked at it and I was like, dude. This is my favorite one so far, as, mm. as you guys, as you guys see, like there's multiple ones that we made this year, but that one is my favorite. Yes. So, um, yeah, um, let's let's jump. Out, like, okay, so now I can talk mm -hmm. about on Halloween day. I didn't do as much. Mm -hmm. I live in a very nice neighborhood. Mm -hmm. When I went outside to walk, I saw a lot of kids, like a lot nice. of kids going to the houses and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. I live around like a lot of family area. So a lot of kids were walking around mm -hmm. and they were like holding, you know, pumpkins and stuff like that. So it was very fun. Yeah, that was cute. a first time experience. So mm -hmm. yeah, it was it was fun. I was just Did they knock at your door? No, 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 no. They did not knock no. on my door, no, no. But unfortunately. I mean mm -hmm. not unfortunately. I didn't I didn't have any candy. So, okay, I, so I, good. I, good. I didn't know what I was gonna do yeah. at that point. If they knock at your door and don't have candy and know what they do, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but um jump jumping on our second talk of the agenda. We want to talk about the news on campus. Oh yeah, so we talk about yeah, but. sure. So uh, next week is gonna be a very very busy week. We can start talking about how on November sixth, next Monday, uh -huh. uh, we're gonna be starting the free rice challenge. Which for those who are unaware, this is uh, Sinclair is gonna be hosting a little competition between clubs, mm -hmm. among clubs, and uh, it's essentially the, all the clubs have a, the whole week 
to take this um, this it's it's called a rice challenge trivia or a rice trivia challenge a rice? sponsored by I okay. think so it, it's it's part of um it it's this thing that happens online mm -hmm. that you can answer it's free for anyone to, to participate yeah and with every question that you get right uh, s uh grains of rice are donated somewhere else oh really so it's supposed oh, to help nice. uh, you know combat um hunger around the world that's very nice so yeah so we're gonna be so clubs and organizations are able to compete this week to see who gets you know uh the uh, the, the most answers correct yeah uh and hopefully we all get as many as we can because yeah, it's important every time you get an answer correct more rice is donated so yeah. if you and your club are interested in signing up i don't know about the deadline yet but you can totally check out at the student com uh, community and engagement center uh, in the basement of building eight yeah it's it's mm -hmm. uh well the 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 event is going to be throughout all week next yes, week so yes. it's going to be from the from the 6th until until the 10th yes correct so every single day and uh before but but before the rice challenge mm -hmm. on the 5th there is a Sinclair yeah. youth jazz yeah on sunday the jazz on so, sunday is going to be playing here at yeah. Sinclair and and I'll tell you, it's not biased because I, I am a music major from Sinclair, but the music <laughs> here is pretty good. It's yeah, pretty pretty yeah. good musicians. Yeah. And the jazz ensemble is interesting because it's not only students. Of course, students can join, but we have faculty playing there as well. So, mm -hmm. you know, it's like it's top notch. Yeah. People are pretty good. Yeah, of course. On Monday, we're also going to be having a talk about clubs and organizations yeah. uh, and the Logia. It's from 12.30 to 1. Pretty quick talk. But I believe it's just to give more information as to how to sign up for clubs. We had this whole e-learn change uh, that I believe a lot of people got confused about. So, mm -hmm. yeah, that's going to be happening. Yeah. On uh, Tuesday. Yeah. yeah. Tuesday, we also have the uh, going to be having in building two on the third floor, uh, a station for making your uh, blessing beats. I believe this is going to be hosted by the multi-faith chaplain, cool. uh, Mr. Paul. And yeah, yeah, these are just very nice little beats to have. It's just like a uh, like a little memento that you carry around. Yes. Yeah, I have one. I got one when I was at the latest um, multi the, the the peace place event. Mm. They were giving these away. I got one myself, so I have it nice. in my home. Sometimes I take it with me outside. Um, on Wednesday, if you check your calendars on il or on your my Sinclair, you're gonna see uh, something about. The international series we're going to be talking about norway uh that unfortunately is not going to be happening this wednesday it's going to be postponed but still in the calendar so i figure it would be best to just talk about it what is happening though is um the diversity office is going to be hosting a watch party for devotion which is a film about uh the first if i recall correctly the first uh african-american that is a pilot in the army and fought in the korean war so the diversity office is going to be hosting that movie. It's going to be at 3.30 at that big conference room in the cafeteria. And you can go there, watch it. Snacks are provided. Do sign up online, though. You can do so by just checking the calendar, clicking on the event, and then you're able to sign up. On the, ni on the 9th, that is a Thursday, uh, we're probably going to be recording a podcast, too. But yeah, uh, we have the truth about anti-white discrimination. It's going to be a talk being hosted by Jared Cutler. Mm -hmm. which is um, a pro host here at Sinclair. And it's going to be talking about the the feeling that a lot of white Americans have that the whole diversity talk can sometimes feel that it's excluding their race. Um, so it's going to be happening on Thursday. But don't come to campus on the 10th, on Friday. On Friday, Because yeah. it's going to be Veterans Day. Campus yeah, is going to be closed. so it's going to be Veterans Day. And uh, yeah, respect for everyone. Mm -hmm. Pretty packed week. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's very it's, packed. Yeah, but keep in mind also from the 6th until the 10th is going to be the Rice Challenge. Mm -hmm. So for you guys again, like Jay said, go ask as many questions as you can, uh, answer as many questions as you can and get mm -hmm. and get them correct because you will be donating rice. Mm -hmm. And uh, I feel like this is something really good again. Yeah, very important cause. Yeah, and these are the things that are happening for this week. Yep. Um, we Like we mentioned again about the magazine, this, is gonna, this, this was the October magazine for Halloween. Mm -hmm. Um, 
make sure you guys go when you go all walk around campus it's going to be on the racks and feel free to pick one yourself and if not you can check the uh our social media mm -hmm. uh you can check our uh, twitter slash uh, x yes. and you can check our uh, sinclairclarion.com mm -hmm. on the web browser it's our website we upload articles every single day just mm -hmm. up updating students on the things that happen in sinclair and uh, from there if you scroll down you will see the uh, pdf of the magazine that's right if you don't like the physical copy you can just grab your phone while you're walking around mm -hmm. or you're sitting waiting for a bus or something you can just check it out read some things uh riley has an article on there so uh she wrote about her own experience which is very fun uh you guys will get to know about the staff slowly and uh know us and stuff like that mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, I think I think that's gonna be for the news for yeah. this week. Mm -hmm. We want to jump more uh, deeply into our guest because yeah. uh, you're, she's just like Riley's just sitting back there. She's like, mm -hmm, yeah, these talk, uh, these talk news, about what's really yeah. important. Yeah, these, right now. These, these news sound good. You mm -hmm. know, uh, good job. You guys got the all the information and stuff like that. Yes, you know, thank you very much. Uh, thanks for Jamie. Mm -hmm. But um, yeah, Riley, hello. Hello. Yeah, uh, we we want to know about yourself like i want you to speak about you know who you are and uh what's your background what's your position at the clarion you know what's your major what do you like to do at your free time you have a favorite favorite animal you know okay. get to know about yeah. you so we can start by the basic question what do you do here at the clarion huh? yeah so my job as the executive editor i look through all of the articles that come through mm -hmm. um, make sure they're ready to go on the website i also help with the magazine and then I give Jojo a list every Monday. Yes. And he is amazing. He gets it up on the website for us. Yep. And then I also help write articles as needed. Mm -hmm. Cool. Yeah. It's one of the most important uh, uh, spots here at the Claren, I can say. I think, oh, yeah, yeah, for sure. If we didn't have Riley, this thing would not be working. So yeah, it would be a mess. It yeah. would be a mess. We would not know what to do. It is definitely a team effort, I think. Mm -hmm cannot take credit <laughs> <laughs> she's very humble and and what have you been studying Sinclair are you a journalist major too or I'm not I'm actually a history major history major whoa okay. I never knew that you didn't know that no I never knew your history Why? yeah history wow major. uh what's your second year here or yes. mm. no third I started in fall of 21 okay so this is Okay, yeah, yeah. second yeah, second yeah. year you can say second year wow yeah. okay you're history so you like mm -hmm. history I do so do you like mostly like American history or like worldwide history? I love learning about worldwide history. Wow, I don't like to go. just focus in mm -hmm. on one thing. Okay, fun yeah. thing about me. I love history. It's not mm -hmm. my major, but I obsess with history. So okay. I read a lot of history. And if you want, I can tell you worldwide history whenever like we're working in the office, if you have any questions. Because I know a lot about worldwide. I don't know about American history. Right. I know worldwide. Yeah, you can. Then I will uh, come to you when I have a history paper. <laughs> Okay, can, maybe. <laughs> you can definitely make some interesting questions. Like, what is your favorite history? Do you have a favorite a area timeline. that you like to? Yeah, Do you have like a favorite area that you like to study more than the other? I love learning about like ancient Rome, ancient mm -hmm. Greece. That's, um, that's ancient good. Ancient Egypt, places yeah, like that. Yeah, ancient Egypt, yeah. That's, wow. You, you're like going into like the big big parts of history i used to enjoy studying history when i was back in high school a lot and of course yeah. i don't do that now but for me it always felt nice how studying history essentially feels like you're just really you're reading a book mm -hmm. right that's that's what history is and you learn all these things because of course these are important books because they yeah. are real but I, I just like how it's just you know it's characters and it's plot and it, it, it's yeah. like reading a novel yeah kind of like this is, is that why you chose history um or? so i really enjoyed history throughout high school middle school mm -hmm. elementary um and then when i got to college i was like okay well this is already something i enjoy so i'm just gonna make it my major and just keep learning about it because i love it that's good mm -hmm. um, yeah that's good so that was kind of the motivation to go for it that's great so when you graduate like uh what kind of career does a history major can uh get do you have any any one specific position in mind that you're looking for so actually history majors can do quite a lot they can go to like law school um be a teacher you can go to law school mm -hmm. i never knew that yeah. nice um history majors can also go into journalism mm. so i'm kind of mm. thinking about that that's also fun. So I want to take some journalism classes just so I'm more well-rounded. Yes. Yeah. Actually know what I'm doing. Yeah, definitely. Um, for sure. But my time at the Clarion has kind of motivated me to go along that path. 
Whoa! See great. what McLaren guys great. does. Yeah, I bet. Uh, I bet Ismael also talks to you a lot about history because he's also a very, yeah, uh, very history knowledgeable guy. guy. Yes. Yeah, there's a lot of history. So I bet the conversation between you two are very intellectual. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if I can sit at a table with both of them at the same time. Yeah. Oh, oh. whoa! That would be that would be a long <laughs> talk. Oh, yeah. Know. Yeah. I, I, okay. So actually, one thing um, I've always okay. So I I like history a lot and I like journalism. Um, I like a lot of things. That's that's crazy. But uh, <laughs> I always wanted, and I always draw that scenario in my head that I will be like a history journalist working in France. Mm. Yeah, like okay. like working in France. Uh -huh. You know, I think f like the reason why is just because. Well, first of all, I, I like France, and mm. I like I like the language. I like I like the way their history works. You mm. know, it's because it goes more into arts. And painting and stuff like that so yeah if you're not thinking about decapitating their, yeah. their monarchs <laughs> of course of course <laughs> but, and yeah. then uh yeah they're they're more like artistic so i've read a lot of journal like from like journalists like french journalist articles and i'm like it's nice like mm -hmm. the way the way they just do it so yeah it, it's it's cool maybe one day you'll be working in france as a journalist maybe someday <laughs> speak um, french no Ooh, that might be a problem. I might have to learn that. Yeah. yeah. Salut. Um, uh, any places that you consider if you're traveling worldwide? Do you yeah. have any places you'd like to go? I, I think it's obvious. You said Greece or Rome. <laughs> so. For historians, yes. Yeah. Yes. Especially if you're interested, I, I can see that is a great answer. Yeah. Uh, even though it wasn't you that said it, I'm pretty sure you agree with him. I do. Uh, <laughs> Come on. <laughs> But but a Greece or Rome sounds like it sounds amazing. But yeah. Um, so nope. I would say I also want to go to Scotland and Ireland. Mm. Um, These are very good places. History for history purposes or just traveling purposes? I just love to travel and see mm -hmm. new places, explore new things. Good. Ireland good. is very green. So yeah. if you like nature, it's very nice. I've been to Scotland once. Oh, really? Uh, yeah, it? I went to Edinburgh. It's it's very nice. Mm -hmm. Though that city, they do say that it's haunted. Ooh, and so it's kind of mysterious because in Edinburgh, you can walk around a lot. Mm -hmm. And somehow you always find yourself back in the main street. Whoa. Yeah, so it's like you get like, get, it's like there's a little ghost, like, diverging your path and taking you back to that main street. Like, you cannot leave. That's it's crazy. It's very spooky, but it's very nice. Very nice. Wow. So, uh, Riley, are you, so... Are you a part of any other program on campus? Sadly, I am not. Okay. <laughs> Believe it or not, um, contrary to popular belief, because I'm mm -hmm. sitting in front of a camera, hmm. I am not very go out and meet new people. Yeah, I see. I Ooh, okay. sorry. Yeah. I guess we should uh, just someone just should sit in front of the camera here so we can yeah, block just, her out. Just, yeah, yeah. <laughs> she is a little camera shy. <laughs> I but, am just but it's, a little bit. But it's okay. You're doing great. Thanks. You're doing great. Um. What are some like hobbies you have outside school? Okay, so I am so really like into photography, mm -hmm. hiking, reading. Mm -hmm. um, what? Nice. Yeah. These are very diverse. That's really good. I mean, of course, being a history major, I do expect you to read a lot. Mm -hmm. But what are you reading right now? Like, what's the latest thing you've, you've read? Ooh, the latest thing. So I've been reading Little Women by Louisiana May Alcott. It is a very good book. What's cool. it about? It's I've heard of it, but I I I don't know what's about. Um, it's about four young ladies mm -hmm. who are living with their mother and. No oh, spoiler, yeah. No, no, no. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding. And I could keep going. Um, they have some life struggles that they just have to figure out. Um, it's in the middle of a war, and I think I'm gonna stop there because I have only read a few chapters, mm -hmm. so I don't want to. That sounds interesting, though. That sounds interesting. Um, cool. It's a very good book. Yeah. Um. Well, okay. This is where it's going to circle back into the Clarion. What made mm -hmm. you join the Clarion? Um, well, I realized I wasn't involved with anything on campus. Mm -hmm. And I had been here a couple semesters. And I was like, okay, well, what's what's going on? What do I think I'd be interested in? And I just happened to be looking at my Sinclair page. So I was looking around. And I found the Clarion. And I was like, mm -hmm. okay, well, what's this? I click on it. It says they're hiring. And I was like, okay, well, what's the position available? And they had a copy editor available. So yeah. I applied and then I got the job. And that's kind of where it all started. Yeah. Yeah, I remember you when, when you joined. I think we joined roughly around the same time. Because oh, really? I remember being here while you still yeah? were a copy editor uh, as well. Wow. Yeah. And then you got 
moved into executive director. I did. Quite yeah. a leap. You it got was a big jump. promoted. Yeah, yeah great well, job. You were expecting it? No, mm. no, not yeah. at all. <laughs> <laughs> It's I was okay. Just kind of humming along doing my job, and then the position opened up, and I was like, okay, you know, I'll, I'll yeah. try it. We'll see how yeah. it goes. No, no, you're you're doing great. You're doing great. So as a copy editor, uh, can you do you still remember what you had to do? How was your job back then? Um, it was a lot simpler. Mm. All I had to do was take direction from the executive editor. She mm. would give me articles and then I would look through them, make sure they were ready to go for the website or the magazine. And then I would send them back to her and be like, hey, we're good to go. Go ahead and post them up. Oh, so it's just so. like basically you make sure if there's no any incorrects in the article. Mm. So you were essentially oh. our official proofreader. Yes. Proofreader. Yeah, yeah that's gotcha. what it is. Yeah. Gotcha. Yep. Nice. Um, so this uh, that's actually funny because I think you already answered this question because it follows up. It says... Um, has you all like have you always been into journalism i actually so, have not yeah mm -hmm. so because you said i've changed my mind to you know yeah. liking mm -hmm. journalism so that, that's great i actually in high school i hated writing whoa yeah <laughs> i did not enjoy it at all um i would always wait till the last minute to do any assignments mm -hmm. um they were always very poor i did not enjoy writing mm -hmm. and then i started college And I had a really great instructor, Matthew Garrett, English 1101 and Shout out to you, Matthew. Yeah. He was amazing. Um, I got A's in his class. He really helped me learn to love writing. Mm -hmm. and wow. I probably wouldn't be working here if it weren't for him, honestly. Whoa. That's This is impressive. some very important yeah. information. Yeah, it's a, it's a good, uh, it's a good uh, change, of course, yeah. because then it puts you here. Uh, but I do understand writing, you know, and MLA formats and all these things can, can yeah, be very, like... Very challenging. Very challenging and very boring, too. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I, uh, I can always see when people say, I don't like writing. I mean, what's really the appeal to it? <laughs> so <laughs> yeah. so you have you have to, to find a way to make it so that you can like it. Yeah, Apparently, Matthew did much. a great job in teaching you that. Mm -hmm. So yeah. so that was nice. Mm -hmm. That's nice. I yeah, I always enjoyed writing as well, which is why I when the the my position here at the Claren was slowly going towards more reporting because I was just as a graphic designer and then oh can you do one opinion piece? Sure, can you do another one? Yeah, of course. So can yeah. you go this place, can you go in that place? So I've always enjoyed writing. Um And I would say I prefer it over graphic designing. Do you prefer writing over editing? It is a lot less stressful because I'm responsible for me and my article. Mm -hmm. um, but I do enjoy the opportunity to read everyone's pieces mm -hmm. because That's it brings um, different viewpoints, different opinions, um, just new perspectives all around. Yeah. Um, so That's... I can't say that I enjoy one more than the other. Mm -hmm. uh, how... Uh... How good have you become with AP Style ever since you became an, an editor? Well, I'm AP still style, learning. Man. AP Style. Yeah. Um, mm -mm. I didn't really know anything about AP Style before mm. the Clarion. Yeah. Um, so I'm still looking things up, still double checking. If I have questions, I just ask Jess because That's she's good. always there to help. Yeah, yeah. Um, she is. Yeah. But I would say I've come a long ways because our executive editor, when I started, still had to go back through and double check my articles and make mm. sure that they were okay. Oh, wow. So mm. I, I, I want to mention something, actually, because you said you didn't like writing and then you started liking it after your instructor. I would always say and believe this. Uh, a teacher, instructor have a very big influence on the subject that they teach you. Mm -hmm. yes. So, for example, like I, I'm, I'm like your story. I didn't like writing at all when I was in high school and I thought it, well, okay, maybe like not don't like it at all like sometimes i used to like to write but i didn't like that someone needs to tell me what format i need to write it in mm -hmm. like i want to write in my own style yep. mm -hmm. so i always used to go on my computer and write in my own freestyle i know it's gonna be having a lot of punctuations and like a lot of grammar that's wrong and stuff like that but at the end i just feel like it, i can like get attached to what i write So mm -hmm. when someone is telling me, oh, hey, write in AP style or write in MLA style, like, I don't want that, man. Because mm -hmm. it's always going to be at the back of my head. Like, am I actually writing it the way it's supposed to or not? Mm -hmm. But after I came here to the U.S. and I started English Comp with uh, Professor Chuck. Shout out to you. 
he also made me love writing again. Mm -hmm. So he would always like he he was he was fantastic. He was like teaching us how to write the right way, and he will always give us like every week almost like a little essay to write. Mm -hmm. And uh, he would always call me like he would call every single student up next to him, and he would go through the essay that he wrote. And I remember like he would he would like call me, and I would stand next to him and like see what's wrong. Mm -hmm. And I can see over like every week I'm progressing even more, and I'm having less incorrects, less less less. Mm -hmm. To the point that I didn't have any wrong, and then he he always comes with every single essays, and he looks at me, and he's like, "I really like the way you you like you write," mm -hmm. and like mm -hmm. he he says like you have a nice imagination, and then he suggested me Professor Tim Wagner, so mm -hmm. he told me about Tim Wagner, and then my journey started from there. So even though I'm a computer scientist major, I also like writing, mm -hmm. so which <laughs> nothing relates to anything. I I remember that I really liked. I don't remember who my instructors for English composition were. Yeah. Because I took that class three years ago. Wow. So <laughs> that's Damn. that. I don't remember their names, but um, I always thought it was interesting to be able to go and do research and cite sources. Yeah, cite sources. I really like the whole formality of it all because mm -hmm. I'm a very organized person. Yes. And and having the the possibility of just making an organized text so it was, was kind of nice to me. I do see how MLA and APA styles kind of push back on freestyle writing, which people usually like because they give the freedom. I think it's just like when you make art, exactly right. Yeah, when you paint exactly something, you want to paint the way you want to paint. You don't want to paint in a specific style because you're being told to. Yeah. But I I liked MLA. I mean, I remember my my English composition two essay. Because we're all supposed to write an argumentative essay, which is like, what, five pages long or something, yeah, if, I, yeah, if I recall yeah, yeah. correctly. Yeah. First of all, in Brazil, we had to write these things in a page, max. That's so it. You, so you had to develop a whole oh, argumentative wow. essay in four paragraphs. Wow. I think that's harder. Because yeah, that's how um, our exams are are calculated when you go to universities. Yeah. So after you are in the university, of course, you get like longer pieces. But the exams you get into university require you to write an argumentative essay in 30 lines or less, which is oh very hard. So when I got here and they say, yeah, you can write like five pages minimum. I'm like, <laughs> thank God, because I have so much to say. Wow. But That's I remember crazy. I was picking, uh, we had to pick a topic, right, to, to argue about. And I was just seeing people going for like, you know, kind of hot topics. Uh, and I, I now that I'm talking about, I have a feeling that I already said this in this podcast, and I'm starting to feel like an old man, <laughs> like the grandpa <laughs> that tells the same story at every, every single, single time, every yeah. single Thanksgiving dinner. He's always telling the same story, and they're all like, "We know, grandpa, we know." <laughs> but uh, they could choose, we could choose any hot topic to talk about. And I saw people, just, you know, there's a lot uh, choosing topics that are that are very fresh, so they have a lot of uh, recent. Uh, research to use and all of that and yeah. i just for some reason i thought i'm gonna talk about uh the efficiency of banning nuclear weapons and how that's gonna be able to like if that's that is enough to stop a nuclear war from happening what so i chose that as a topic what a topic and as i was starting to write it i realized why did i choose this topic because it's yeah it's complicated yeah. but i did a research and i was i felt very proud of that and i have that i had that essay until my my macbook died on me few months ago that's very sad but i oh, love wow. that essay and i love i love writing it so yeah you can find some passion in writing it too and yeah. i'm glad you did because now that means that we have you here yep. so yeah exactly you can we can ask you for stuff um another thing that i would like to mention a small thing is i don't think you know this about me but i am writing a novel what yeah i'm writing a horror novel Oh, it's wow. uh, yeah, you're not going to read it. Yeah, <laughs> I mean it, it's i will support you 100 percent. thank you thank you i would say it is um it is something <laughs> because it's it's uh it, it, for me i i'm a sucker for her i love her a lot i would say myself it is actually scary like i'm not saying just because i'm writing it mm -hmm. it is actually scary is it mla format or uh, <laughs> at the moment it's a freestyle <laughs> format so i'm right. writing in my own stuff you but gotta put an mla or chicago yeah so i talked i talked to Ismail and he told me yeah man feel free to send me like a couple of because i have like what 22 chapters so far written down oh my. yeah so i have a lot of chapters written down so i think it's like on 105 pages at the moment would i be scared to read it um yes okay yes yes okay. i would say so but but like but like um it's not i would say like for you like to be like actually like terrified 
It's scary because the way I write it, it's like it would automatically click this imagination in your head. So you, while you're reading, you start imagining the scene around you. Okay. And as an so. editor, it's part of your job to put the fear away. And, and just, <laughs> yeah, know, just read through it. Just, <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. It's yeah. my job. Yeah. I would. Um, so yeah, that's that's very interesting. Mm -hmm. So every one of us actually relates back to writing and each of us have like their own story um i would say something that's uh that'll be very i was i, I want to ask like very very i would say deep questions uh what is something you've learned while working at the clarion that you will take with you if when you walk out mm -hmm. say the last goodbye yeah i would say i just have an appreciation more for the media as a yeah. whole mm -hmm. um it is very hard work it takes a lot of dedication yes um and it really makes you we have to dig into topics. We can't just take everything for a surface level, mm -hmm. um, getting it out of one news outlet or say another one. Um, we actually have to really think about it, think about what we're writing. We can't have a bias. Um, mm -hmm. Just, it's very challenging. Yeah. And it makes you really have to research. Wow. So yeah. You have to research before you can have an opinion. And I think that's also very helpful. Yeah, after I started at the Clarion, I also started to consume more news media as well. Like I, mm -hmm. I used to to have news apps on my phone. I wouldn't get like the headlines. Say, oh, that's interesting, you know. But I never really cared enough to like read stuff. And I think after you start working with it, and you see, like you yeah. said, the, the the just how much effort is being put into every single story. Yeah, it, you appreciate it a lot. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and uh, I would say my part of the story, even though I don't deal with articles and writing and editing, I'm more into like working on the website. So I will only take the the article and I will just post it on the website. But through my journey as well, I had a lot of questions about articles and even headlines. I never knew that headlines are written in that way. And I've always like asked Riley and I asked Jess about how headlines should be wrote. Mm -hmm. And Jess explained to me like it needs to have a noun and a verb and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So also through that journey as well even though i'm not related to any of these things i also learned my whole way through it and i feel like it's also very i have like i have my respect like for the editors and for the people who write these kind of articles because mm -hmm. it is actually frustrating and i would say for <laughs> myself if i was one of these people i would be very frustrated to write an article in like a day so yeah. Like respect for all the editors and the clarions i would say like they they do work a lot and uh it, it is it is my it you know tires your mind it does. And yeah because you have to think a lot and write it in a, in a nice way and, and you and i have, we've had a huge learning curve with oh yeah things up on the website yeah and making oh them God. look nice but i think exactly. we're in a good place right now yeah yeah the website's looking clean uh-huh but yeah uh, as, as we're in the topic of editing and hard working and all those things yeah. has editorial day for the next magazine already happened or i believe so yes it was yeah. november 1st okay november 1st oh, so yesterday oh yes yeah. Yeah. Okay. second yeah. Yeah. For those who are unaware, the editorial day is just when we get the editors to just revise all the content that's going to be yes. going to be put in the next magazine because we already started working on it. Yeah. So, like Riley said here, we have the articles uh, done and edited. So yeah, for sure. Yeah, we're going to be having our November magazine coming out in about like what two, three weeks maybe. Yeah, because uh, production day is going to be uh, next week, next yeah. Tuesday. So mm -hmm. uh, like uh, I said in the last Zoom meeting, like everyone, you know, you guys are doing great. Just uh, you know, put your goals in and know what you need to do and don't stress out because I think we're doing great. And uh, so, yeah, thanks again for all the people working at the Clarion. You know, we're, yeah. we're, we're a nice team. We're a big team. Mm -hmm. We have a good team here. Yeah. And, um, yeah, I think, uh, I think that should be it for today's episode. Yeah. You guys have anything else to add? I don't. Yeah. No. We would say, uh, I, the only thing that I would have to say is thank yeah. you, Riley, uh -huh. for being here with us, for sitting right. on this chair today, for overcoming your camera shyness. <laughs> yeah. Believe good job. Me. She made Believe it. So <laughs> what's going to be happening is next month we're going to bring you back and we see how much you improve in talking from the <laughs> camera. Yeah. All right, what are we talking about yeah. next month? Oh, we'll <laughs> we're going to be talking about the Five Nights at Freddy's movie. We're yeah, sure. <laughs> maybe, yeah. Maybe. So you watch. So you have to watch. You have a month to watch it. So we I, can come I back will, and discuss I will. And the non two. And the non two. Yeah. Oh, oh I the can't non two. Help on that one. Yeah, Ooh, that's I, that was a good one. Except for that, <laughs> except for that Portuguese Brazilian <laughs> controversy thing. Oh my god! Um, but yeah, that's gonna be that's gonna be it for today. Yeah, thank uh, you, Riley. Again. We do have to say something that I mentioned the last episode, but mm -hmm. um, we are also now open for running ads. Yeah. So if you'd like to have us to do an ad read or have a, uh, an ad of yours displayed here in our background, mm -hmm. you can email us at. Uh, at clarion at sinclair.edu 
mm-hmm. Sinclair, uh, Sinclair.central at Sinclair.edu. Uh, and we can discuss prices. You can give out the information that you want to be displayed, and we get that, we get that covered. Yeah, of course. Mm-hmm. And other than that as well, other than just if anyone has an ad that would like to present at the podcast, if you guys want to be on the podcast as mm-hmm. well, like if anyone wants to be on the show, we're trying our best. Uh, Jamie lately has been working a lot with a lot of people, like a lot yes. of guests, whoever wants to come on the podcast, present mm-hmm. something that they think it's interesting and uh, it's fun to talk about. Mm-hmm. So, uh, yeah, also feel free to email us, you know, check our social media again on uh, everything at Sinclair Clarion. Yes. You know, we have on uh, X and uh, our Facebook, website, Facebook, Instagram and, Instagram. and if you're listening to this on Spotify, we are on YouTube. Uh huh. And if you're listening to this on YouTube, we are, we are on, on Spotify. Spotify. So. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So, thank you, Riley, again. Thank you for having me. Yep, yes. and uh, I think we've learned a lot from uh, each other today, actually. Yeah, yeah. so um, I hope you guys have a, a great weekend. You know, uh, Halloween is done, so mm-hmm. now winter is going to be starting. Yeah. So, Winterfest is here. It's going to be soon. Please. <laughs> I'm already struggling with this weather. I don't yeah. I don't like cold, yeah. not one bit. Yeah. It was snowing on Halloween. It did. Yeah, it, it was did. very nice. Yeah, it was. It was. It was these these little particles. Yeah, it's snowed on our tacos too. Uh, yeah, we we <laughs> had tacos that day. It was uh, it was uh-huh. a Tuesday. So uh-huh. yeah, guys. Um, thank you guys so much for listening again and for watching as well. Uh, mm-hmm. make sure to forget so, uh to check out our social media, and uh, yeah, that's it for today's episode. And I hope you, hi, you guys have a great week. See you next week. See ya.